then increasingly you're telling women to be the opposite of what I think men want, right? Mm. The opposite, maybe in the instant when men are not thinking with their big heads and they're saying, oh, whoa, she's half naked, great, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. That might be what a man wants. But long term, that's not what a man wants. A man yeah. doesn't want a girl that's that's just going to be naked all the time and put herself out there available for every man to see. Mm -hmm. You know, that I, I don't have to be a man to know that that's not what men want. Yeah. So then you say men suck, and I ask this question all the time. You complain about men, but are you being the type of a woman that a man would want? Less, less, less. Take off more clothes, you know, do the most to get attention, right? If you think that that's freedom, the idea that you have to wear less, and the idea that you have to get naked to be heard, do you really think that's a form of freedom? Because that's not. That's slavery. That's bondage. I didn't have to take off my clothes to be heard in society. And these women will realize that when you follow these people that are you know, self-imposed feminists. I'm a feminist. I do this. I'm a feminist. I, you hear that word over and over and over again. You'll find that the majority of them are miserable. Mm. Look at their lives and ask yourself a question. Do you think they are happy? Mm. Do you feel good when you do what they do? Right? When you're constantly looking for a dopamine hit from social media because you took your clothes off and you want somebody in your comments, you know, a thirst trap with your with your ass out, right? And and you want someone in your comments going, oh, you slay bae. <laughs> you slayed the day bae. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Tuesdays, am I right? Yeah. And and you do the stuff for attention and you're devaluing yourself. And at the end of the day, you don't actually feel good and you're not, it's not going to bring you happiness, right? So yeah, you can get guys sliding in your DM. Uh, you can get guys telling you you look good. You can get guys that want to sleep with you. Uh, how many of these people actually get guys that want to stay with you, mm. right? That are not in somebody else's DM, DM. The same way that you found him is the same way he's going to find somebody else mm. because we are increasingly becoming a part of a society that's ADHD. You want to know why our grandparents stayed together? Because they, didn't, they weren't looking at Ash cheeks all day on Instagram and, and refreshing it and going, oh, well, that girl looks younger. That girl looks better. That girl's face tuned, you know, and, and I think that that is what these young women that they're following are telling them. You've got 13 year olds getting lip injections, mm. right? Because they want to look like Kylie Jenner. Again, not a shot to Kylie Jenner, but what society have we created that ever made Kylie Jenner feel like she had to go, get, go out and buy those lips, mm -hmm. that she had to contour her entire face and change her entire body. She was already a beautiful little girl. So the society is ill. It's not normal, mm -hmm. right? Don't let these people convince you that that's normal. That's cancer. Mm -hmm. And it will, it, it, that cancer will become contagious to you. Mm -hmm. If you accept that, you don't follow better role model.